Okay folks, howdy, Rob here, and this week we're looking at a rather old, kind of brand new Spectrum game called Pilot Attack. This one was developed by Misfit, um, he's a chap who did a game I looked at a year or so ago called Dork Dave, a little platform for the, the Commodore 16, which is actually good fun, and he's continually, and after that he moved on to doing a isometric style game for the Vic, I don't have a Vic, otherwise I'd probably have covered it, and he's moved on now into the Spectrum doing, get, and doing this little shooter called Pilot Attack. Anyway, let's dive in. Uh, it's available as a digital download as a pay what you want, dearly. Um, there'll be the, the link in the description as always. And it's basically a nice little shooter. It's a little less character. The idea is you just really got to get to the end of each stage, blasting, blasting the planes, avoiding the obstacles, and try not to die. You've only got a single life, so it's sort of that mobile, endless runner style thing. And along the bottom, you've got your shields and your and your fuel, and that's sort of how how things are played out. Um, that pick up there gives you shields that you shoot, and then you sort of just, yeah, all right, first stage done. You can get a few stages in. It's a very simple concept, uh, and it feels really good to play. Like, one of the things I love is just, yeah, most horizontally scrolled shooters, when you move up, you just move up the screen. You know, you don't, you don't actually animate like this, and I love this sort of banking animation, because one of the cool things about it is if you time your shot right, ooh, oh, I've got a weapon power up. I just realized. Um, and you actually, well, I've got this power up on, but you could shoot the ground and the roof. Oh, no, no, it happened there. But you could shoot the ground and shoot the roof, and it'll and your shots will reflect, which I really love, because, you know, most games, you know, I think of R-Type having the, the laser pick up to do that. Oh, game over. Damn it. Sometimes inertia could be your enemy as well as your friend. But I really love this just for being like such a simple mechanic. You know, you've got the inertia, which, you know, most kind of shmups don't have in the same way. And I think it really flows a lot better as a result. And it's, it, it makes the challenge a little more interesting. You know, you've sort of got to keep yourself afloat, but you can't, you know, run into all the things. Ooh, that was close. No, no, I did hit. Because you see my shield dropped to one point, which... I think that's a bit unfair that, you know, you can only take two hits if you're not careful. Uh, let's go through shoot. Cool, shield refueled. So one of the things that's a, a bit of a bummer, um, I believe that he's going to get a physical release, but right now it's just available on his on his itch, um, itch.io page. I usually say itch.io, but apparently it is itch.io um, page, which... Like I said, there'll be a link. Uh, it's compatible with both 48 and 128K speckies. I'm playing it on my 128. Um, the big difference from having messed around with with it on both, well, at least emulated even, um, is the sound is kind of really terrible on the 48 version. The beeper sound just is not very good. Um, on, the, on the AY, it actually sounds pretty decent, so... Yeah, obviously, keep that in mind if you're going to play it. I don't know how it actually sounds on a real 48, because I only played it on an emulator. Um, I didn't drag my 48 out. One thing I really love is just how smooth it is. You know, Spectrum, Spectrum games, you know, most shooters, especially with a fairly big play field, aren't this kind of smooth. Ah, damn it. Um, and so, it, it, it makes the game just feel a lot nicer to play. And I think one of the tricks for that is, you know, keeping it mostly mono. But you can sort of see, especially with the ground there, he, he used the attribute map in a really cool way to sort of like fade it in. Oh, I really like that from a, just from an aesthetic sense. You know, I always like when developers try to do something aesthetically a little different, you know, I can't. I'm sure um, a, spec a Specky fan is going to let me know that there are other games that did that, that use the attribute maps in that way. I know from all the Spectrum games I've played, I've never seen it. I'm certainly open to being told that. Um, if, there if there were other games that used the attribute map in that the attribute maps in that way, I would love to hear it. But anyway, like I mean, this is kind of the the, the spirit of 8-bit development in this day and age. Ooh, weapon power. Yeah. And I think that realistically, it's sort of one of those one of those gems that's probably going to be, you know, not something you're going to play obsessively, but it's worth coming back to every, 
now and then. Ooh, that was close. Maybe a little too close. Oh, I did get hit that time. That's probably a little bit of a pain. Just, just how um, there's no real hit hit effect or, or power up effect. Like you tell you power up because you bullet. But these are all minor things. I mean, the game is certainly oh, the game is certainly plenty playable, and it's really good fun. Um, I'm going to keep this one short. So that is Pilot Attack. It's available as a download. There'll be a description. And I hope you enjoyed this look. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, I love hearing your thoughts and comments. Um, I'll be back some with another 64 game soon because I know that's what everyone wants. But as always, do hit the subscribe button. New videos come out Friday if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. And for that, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.